Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shapes and today is going to be a quick lather test, hopefully a quick one, of <laughs> Godrej Shaving Round. I believe this is from India. Uh, it's a, a cheap shaving soap. Uh, I've picked it up at Maggard's uh, for about three bucks. Um, small size, about the size of William's uh, Mux soap. And this is how it looks. Blue color. The scent is... It's a clean, soapy scent, maybe a little bit of a cleaner vibe to it. Not as bad as Arco, in my opinion, but uh, it kind of has that kind of scent profile. Anyways, going to be going with the usual test brush, Rudy Bay uh, R7 Synthetic here. I'm going to be using my stainless steel bowl today. So let's get at it. As with the brush, it's dry right now. I'm gonna be wetting it underwater. Just leave it there for a bit. Um, let's go for just maybe like 15, 20 seconds of loading on the puck. Oh, what the, I, I didn't notice this before. This is a, has a little key in the back. And okay, not bad. All right, so what I'm gonna do is All right, so we'll shake off the water, it's dripping. So one, two, three, maybe one more. So four shakes is how it looks, damp brush. And I'm just gonna load it for about 15 seconds. So here we go. All right, so I think I kind of correctly, but um, all right, 10 seconds now approaching 15. And there we go. All right, 15 seconds to load. Got a lot of suds, but uh, not bad. Definitely looks looks like more of that foamy, high structure kind of lather, but we'll see how it goes. All right, as for the puck, I'm just gonna leave it in the container real quick. All right, I'm gonna get all these suds here and transfer it to the bowl. Don't want to waste any of it. And uh, so far, off the f off the fingers, it feels pretty slick. So let's see how it goes. All right, so I got the suds in the bowl. I'm gonna add some water in. Maybe one pinch of water. All right, one pinch of water, and let's get lathering here. As you can see, uh, quite a bit of bubbles forming from the start, but uh, I don't think this will have any trouble with volume. Um, we'll see if it becomes the dense kind of leather. All right, let's see here. All right, looking good so far. Kind of a bit on the thinner side though. think this is going to need some more work to kind of beat out the bubbles in the lather. But so far, it's looking decent for a $3 puck of soap. Definitely not the densest soap out there. But, um, yeah, otherwise, actually it's, it's thinning out just a bit, so um, I'm not sure at the moment, but on the brush at least, uh, it looks somewhat yogurt-y. I'm not sure if I want to add more water here. It seems like this is a good amount, but I'm going to add one more pinch of water. See how that, how that does. How that affects the lather. So two pinches of water. I think the first pinch was a little bit more, but... This seems pretty good. Seems well hydrated. Um, just by seeing how the lather moves around the bowl, seems pretty good at this point. All right, so this is what I have. Bit, a little bit airy, uh, some small bubbles here and there, but on the brush, it's fully loaded and well hydrated. 
And let me take that to the palm, see how that does. All right, here we go. All right, so right at the start, a little bit more airy kind of lather, but definitely has some volume to it. Hmm, interesting. Took in two pinches of water, uh, so didn't take didn't take a lot of water, but so far it's forming a bit more foamy lather compared to the artisanal options, but still forming some kind of lather with some with some peaks. Nothing too crazy. All right, so just gonna continue to lather up. Definitely um, creating good volume so far. Uh, not not the dense kind of soap. More of that um, has a little bit more bubbles than the other artisanal options. But for a three dollar soap, yeah, this this lather is not too bad. You can see some bubbles in there, but this is definitely lather that you can shave with. It has some sheen to it. Yeah, it's not... There is some air mixed to the lather and... But I would say it's not too bad. A uh, slickness on the fingers seems okay. Um, I've felt slicker soaps before. And of course that's subjective because... Um, it's really hard to measure slickness, but just based on my personal experience, um, this doesn't seem like the slickest thing out there, but so far it's creating some decent looking lather. It's um, nicely hydrated, has some good sheen to it. And yeah, now once you work it in, it's um, it looks nice. And I think it'll provide that slick layer of lather for a decent shape. Um, might not be the best thing for your skin. Uh, it, it does have simple ingredients and by the looks of it, um, seems decent. Let me just pull out the rest of the lather from the knot here. All right, so this is what I got off the Godrej shaving round. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Definitely more of a High structure kind of lather, but it still generates some nice, nice peaks. Some yogurt-like lather, a little bit more foamy than the artisanal options, but still very nice for a commercial three-dollar soap. All right, so I'm excited to take this out for a shave later on. Um, I yeah, I can't. It's hard to determine the post-shave features. <laughs> Of the soap just by the just by feeling it in the hands but um, I'll be able to judge it later on in a shave so but not bad first round this was my first lather test with the Godridge uh, shaving round and I am um, I would say I don't know if I'm impressed but I'll say it is um, it met the expectation so I'll leave you guys at that thank you guys for watching this is Tim Shaves and I'll see you guys next time see you